Welcome back to our channel car people guys today I'm gonna to try and clean up the garage you know and the main reason why the car garage is dirty is because of this car so I need to get this engine back in this car and you know so it can move around and clean the garage so it's very hard uh, we have to catch four bolts these four bolts I have to jack it up on a car and I don't have a lift so it's gonna be interesting I managed to get the engine in the car but it wasn't easy I had to, I had to use all my muscles guys I had to lift lift up the engine to get the engine mounts back in the subframe and all that stuff it was a lot of work but the engine is in the car the car is on the ground It's in there. I need to uh, modify the seat rails. I need to put back the seats in the car, guys, to get these seats back in the car. I have those seats over there that are wrapped in red leather. I'm wondering if I should use it instead of these because those um, fit a lot better because the, the shifter it's very close to the seat when I use this one, but this one kind of match the shifter, you know, the bride. So I might just use it back. But anyway, those ones I think will work a lot better, the red ones, because they, they won't be so close to the shifter. And I need to get the axles in. The axles are not in yet. So I'm gonna get the axles in and then we can go for a little test ride because all it needs now is just the axles to go in and then we can just, you know, go and drive around the hill. It's not like it's not or anything like that. So we can't go too far. Maybe just drive it around the yard. Need to make sure the brakes are working because I had to move the brake lines when I, when I remove the, the subframe. So I need to get some brake fuel and bleed the brakes. Um, I had enough just to bleed the clutch. I didn't do all of that on camera. I thought the, I thought it was recording, but it wasn't recording, guys. <sighs> My bad. So I didn't get to record when I was doing all the heavy lifting and all that stuff. But yeah, hopefully when I'm putting in the axles and doing all the other stuff, I can I can record it. I don't think I'm going to turbo it anymore. I changed my mind. Cause just a lot of work. I can't be bothered with the, you know, the putting the turbo under the car, then use the pump to feed, the, you know, like the return, get the sca scavenger pump to send back the fuel, the oil to the tank, and it's just a lot of work. So I don't want to go through all of that. I figure I'll have a car for, you know, different use and different reasons. Like this one, I don't need to turbo it. I already have a turbo car. I have the Skyline turbo already, so I don't need to, you know. I mean, I know it's it's fun, but I don't want to go that road. I think it's enough. The D16, D15 engine is enough, and that will that will work for what I want. And the the car wasn't going into first gear and second gear when I was moving the car in a video that I did a long time ago. It was, I was actually moving the car in third gear and I didn't realize I was in third gear. I mean, I, I, I realized it was, a, it was a high gear, but I was wondering if there was something else wrong, why behaving like that. So, you know, I got the gearbox fixed thanks to Vaughn from well, I don't remember Vaughn's um, Velas Velas. So I don't remember. I'll put it there. Is um, is, is is garage and racing team, and it fixed the gearbox for me. So now it's going in first gear, first, second, third, fourth. So now I have all gears and it's working fine. Yeah, man, risky business, but we'll make it work. 
cars on four wheels. I managed to put in the axles, um, finish, you know, doing all the electrical stuff on it. And it's outside now. I mean, the other cars are getting wet now. I didn't want them to get wet, but you know, I just wanted to bring this outside because it's so rich. It's running so rich when I started in the garage smoking up the entire place and I can't breathe so I just wanted to bring it outside you know start it outside let it idle for a little bit but man it's rich it's running rich you see I'm sweating guys man and then the battery on the 190 is dead so I'm charging it to drive it that's one of the reasons why it's outside still because when the rain started, I wanted to drive back in, but the battery died. But yeah, I mean, they're getting some, some light still. They've been in the garage too long, so it's good to get some light. that my brother was checking out the smart car and switch on the ignition and left the ignition on so the battery is probably dead I'm not sure I didn't try it I just saw the ignition on when I was doing a little sweep up inside the 190 e is supposed to be fully charged you know so I'm gonna move it and then turn this car around the smart car and park it back in the garage well guys all uh, this video um, for you guys, it's just going to be 10 minutes, but believe me, the beginning of this video, this was like two weeks ago. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just working on this car in stages. Whenever I find time, I work on it. So like I said, maybe two weeks ago, I did some stuff on it. Then last week, I put the engine in it. Then the axles. Yesterday, I did the axles. And then today now, um, I put it on all four wheels and moving it around. So. I mean, I work on them in stages, they are projects, so, you know, you can't finish projects in one day unless it's just something simple. But yeah, guys, time, time is against me, so whenever I find time, I work on these cars. I'm going to squeeze myself in and see if, see if it's um, starting. <coughs> it's not so bad, it's not so bad. Oui. All right, that, that was a gear. So it's starting, it's not dead. All right. But the bricks, the bricks, and I hear the bricks need to bleed. I can hear all the air inside of the brakes. Ooh. When I press it, it just yes. Yeah, Man, it's hot. Yeah, let's move this Mercedes. Start it first. This is an automatic saw. So won't give me any trouble. Oh, but it's still not charged. Man, maybe the terminal is not on properly. I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. I might just switch these batteries around. 
because I don't want to take all day. Guys, I think this car is small enough to turn around right in this little spot and drive in the garage. So I'm just going to do that while that continues to charge. Where is that? But yeah guys, it's in its resting place, so Oh, that's that. Now it's to get this car charged. I think I'm gonna drive this car for a few days so the battery builds up. I'm gonna drive it for a few days. Yeah. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoy this video. Still work in progress, so I mean many more to come. Alright guys, see you guys in the next one.